Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorin here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum, howdy y'all. So I'm here in the laundry room with a basket of laundry to be done because I only brought, we only brought stuff for like seven days. So we've still got another week and we're down to our last pair of pants and it's time to do the laundry. So you join me here in the laundry room of where we stay in and this is a, the top loader machine which is fantastic so i'm going to go through a quick demo of just ordinary laundry using these machines so what we'll do is we'll take a quick look at the machines while i drink my coffee oh that's so nice and um i'll show you some of the machines first of all we'll take a look at the washing machine which is a speed queen commercial heavy duty this is the control panel for it. So you've got your power, your temperature, your load size, your soil level, heavy duty, economic permanent press, spin, rinse and spin delicate, pre-wash, second rinse and the signal. And then you have the start button over here. So if I lift the lid, you will see it has the paddle in the middle the dispenser here for bleach and the dispenser here for fabric softener so it's a lovely big drum so here we have the sticker which gives you the model number the serial number alliance laundry systems llc ripon wisconsin made in the usa 120 volts 60 hertz 9.8 amps so there we go so this is the energy guide sticker on the front of it so yearly energy cost $13 There's some information there energy cost which is something you don't see on ours but I guess we have the um, energy guide which gives it a B and C D E and whatever rating so there we go that is the washing machine with a little warning there i like the way that it's plumbed in at the back of the laundry room that is very neat and tidy and easily accessible rather than having to search around the back of things so next we move on to the tumble dryer which again is a speed queen commercial heavy duty control panel on it is the same matching as that Got the power on and off, temperature, dryness, that's the moisture level for sensing, regular, permanent press, delicate, time, quick dry, fluff up, time, signal, start, and the status on that side there. So if I just move my laundry basket out of the way, we'll have a look on the inside. So it's got a light on the inside, which is very good. Huge drum massive drum on it so there's the lint collector there for collecting the lint which i think you just pull yeah you pull out to remove the lint and that's how the drum moves around so again with this we've got the information sticker again made in ripon in wisconsin model number serial number wattage it's very very high in watts uh, 26 amps 120 to 240 volts so I wonder if that would work in the UK being 240 volts input three wire circuit hmm that's interesting if someone can tell me about that if it's if that would work in the UK because of the voltage I'm not really sure uh, <coughs> excuse me warning and caution Now, I don't know if this is a condenser dryer. I don't think it is. No, I'm not sure if this is a condenser dryer, but I will um, ask to find out, to give you the answer. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the first load. So what I've got is, I bought yesterday, is some Tide capsules. 
I quite like the container of it because I'm going to take the container home and the remaining of the capsules and use them. And then put all my capsules in this because I quite like the colour of it. So what I need to do is have a quick look at the instructions to see how many pods to put in compared to the size of the machine. And I need to put, oh there we go, extra large three, large two, small one, pretty much the same as in the UK. Right, so let me get you set up on a tripod and let's get started. Okay, so we are here and I am about to start the laundry. So I've got my Tide capsules. I'm gonna open the lid. Uh, it's quite a big load, so I'm gonna put the three in. Now, you have to put them in first, and then I'm gonna pop in my laundry. And I'm just gonna scatter it around. Like so. Scatter, scatter, scatter. Scatter, 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 I don't wrap my pants around that. Put three t-shirts, pajama t-shirts in there. Okay, now, put one more in, there we go. Right, so there we go, so that is all my laundry in the washing machine. So I'm going to go to the controls, I'm going to switch it on and we're going to have it on warm temperature, large load, medium soil, second rinse, signal and we will have it on, yeah I'll put it on heavy duty. So we're all set up on the controls, so what we're going to do now is press start. And it doesn't seem to want to work with the lid open. So, what it is doing is putting in water in from here. Unfortunately, I can't leave the lid open. Maybe I'll be able to have the lid open for the washing. So it's just filling up at the moment. So this is quite exciting, it's the first time I've done laundry in the States. First time I've ever used a Speed Queen washing machine. Not the first time I've used the top loader. So let's have a sneak peek. Yep, filling up. So the timer says 40 minutes. It's gonna take a little while to fill up, I think. I have a feeling that that was being filmed on the side, which I've just noticed, but it's too late because I've put everything in now. Quick sneak. Yep, filling up with water nicely. I'll pop you on pause and I'll come back to you once it's filled up. That's as much as I can lift the lid up without the machine turning off. So you can see that it's filling up at the back. The water coming through is warm. 
almost at the top. Okay, it's on, but unfortunately, I can't lift the lid. Because the moment I lift the lid, the washing stops. It's got a safety cutoff switch on it. So unfortunately, I can't see it going round and round. So if I reduce the lid, just down as far as that, that's all you can see is my thumbnail on the top of that spinning around so you can't actually see clothes going around unfortunately. Try with the torch on. Vaguely see the stuff going around in there and that sucks. The rest of the yellow of the socks does help. Very quiet, just doing this thing, going around. See the paddles, just the laundry, just going around. So unfortunately, it's going to be a bit of a short video because you can't actually see it working properly with the lid up, which is a shame. I can see they're getting off a bit of foam, but nothing too major, just enough to clean it all. And I assume that's the timer for 35 minutes. So I'm not sure if it's 35 minutes just for that single wash. some fabric softener in the middle. So I'm just going to put some conditioner in here. That'll do. And then as you can see the laundry is just smooshing around. So I'm going to close the lid like I just said and uh, come back to you in a minute. Okay so we're already on our first spin after a few minutes. Wasn't much washing. Um, Now it's filling up with some rinse water, which I can hear. Let's see if we can see. Yep. Let's have a quick look at the inside. So there's everything. 
Okay. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oop. Too high. There we go, fill it up with water for a release. That really wasn't a long of a wash to be honest. Hmm. Not long of a wash at all. Literally 8 minutes, 10 minutes, if that. Anyway, it's on its way. So let's try and assign an hour for now. Okay, so that is the laundry finished. Inside, let me get my laundry basket. It smells nice. Mm, it smells very nice, actually. Okay, let's pull all this out. Ow, that was my elbow. to put all of this into the tumble dryer. So let me reposition the camera. There we go. So this is a very big capacity tumble dryer. It shouldn't have any issues with drying all of this. Cool load. Not a problem at all. There we go, that's in. Let's take you off the stand. Actually, I'm gonna look at the Everything control. inside, and as you can see, that was a whole load. And look at the space in there, it's massive capacity. So let's close the door. And let's switch on the power. Um, let's do the auto sensing as regular and temperature, dryness near dry, so none of that's going to shrink. Um, hmm. Sensing, near dry, dry, let's try that one. Cool, and that's going to take 57 minutes, so let's carry on with the next one. Okay, so let's get the rest of the laundry. I've got my pods, which I'm going to pop in. In they go. Next I'm going to bring over my little trolley. Look at that, that's so awesome. I've got a laundry trolley. Uh, let's put the rest of the stuff in. Which are t-shirts, pyjama t-shirts. Nothing that's going to run, nothing that's going to cause any issues. Tracky bottoms, t-shirts, and my cords, they all go in. Now let's close the lid, let's take you off the camera. So let's press the on button. Wash, second rinse, and signal. Temperature warm, large, heavy, 
Heavy duty. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. That's oh, so, okay. Let's go back. And so let's press start. Oops. Filling up with water. Yeah, just switch the light on. So you can see. Tell you what I forgot to do. Let's put the fabric softener in. I'm just going to put a little bit of fabric softener in the center, not too much, just a touch. A little bit of ultra downy, April fresh. The other thing I forgot to put in the tumble dryer are these um, tumble dryer sheets. So if I just open it, check it in. There's the start. Okay, and I will leave that to do the washing, and that will do the dry. So it's been on for a little while, it is now doing its first spin. It's done a pre wash. Now it is doing a spin. There we are, quickly, a quick flash of the spin. So I got my bounce, put them in, close up the door, and for this one, if I press the cancel button, okay, and uh, I'm going to put it on near dry. Low temperature, delicate, signal, start. There we go. That's load number two in the dryer. So let me get the rest of this stuff all folded up. Okay, so that's the first load of the washing all dry and folded up and ready to be put away. The last load I have to do is just some towels and flannels. So it's not a big load. So I'm gonna pop in two pods, put these towels in. Perhaps I should only have used one pod, but it doesn't matter. And this one I'm gonna set on warm, load size, medium, high, soil level, medium. I'm gonna put it on normal wash. And I'm going to press, I can't do that, yeah, medium, 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 and start. And there we go. So that's the towels in. That's the tumble dryer over for the second load. So let me just pull it all out.
Now inside here is the lint. So you remove the little guard. And you just gather up all the lint. Put the guard back on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold up the rest of this laundry. So my friends, there we go. That is all the laundry done and dusted using these Speed Queens, the washing machine and the tumble dryer. Very, very good machines. Very, very good results. Some of the ketchup stains and stuff that were on the creamy joggers, they've all come off. So with using the Tide Pods and that machine, very, very impressive and all done and dusted. So what I need to do now is get this put away, finish off tidying up in here and we're done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this a bit interesting. It's been fun for me using these machines, which I obviously wouldn't get to use like this bef um, before. And um, I will see you all in the very next video. So please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.